Hi all, well it's Deep Punch Out TV, back at you with another video. I want to talk about a fight what nearly slipped through my radar. Uh, it's this weekend, it's on the 20th, so it'll be late over here. It's on the zone, it's, uh, Saturday night, it'll be late over here. And it's uh, Maurice Hooker versus Virgil Ortiz Jr. This is going to be a cracking fight, this. It's at welterweight for the vacant WBO international belt. Whatever that is. It's too many belts in boxing. But anyway, it's uh, Maurice Hooker versus Ortiz. Hooker is 27, one loss, three draws and 18 KOs. He's the former WBO light welterweight champion. Uh, he lost that belt when he got iced. Off Jose Ramirez back in, uh, I think it was 2019 or late 2018, one of them. Um, he's fighting a very dangerous fighter, Virgil Ortiz Jr., who was 16 and 0 with 16 KOs. Hooker is 31, stands at 5 foot 11. Uh, he's from Dallas, Texas. And he has an 80 inch reach. Ortiz is 22. He stands at 5 foot 10. And he's got a, a 70 inch reach. And he's also from Dallas, Texas. And the fight is in Dallas, Texas. So it's, it's a homegrown fight for both fighters. Um, I'm not too sure about where Murray Sucker's, what he's got left. Um, because I watched his fight, his last fight against Perez, which was back in 2019, he's December 2019. So he's he's not been in the ring for for a while, but he won. I think it was a first round KO. He, he beat Perez, um, but he got he got uh, iced off, like say Jose Ramirez. He's only lost one fight. He's got three draws. He's been in with some good fighters as well. Um, Virgil Ortiz, young up-and-coming star. I could say he's only 22. He's got 16 KOs on his record. Um, I was just watching an interview before on, I think it was Seconds Out, where Hooker was saying he's, he's not fought anyone. Um... It's going to be a good fight, this. How do I see this fight going? Me, personally, I think if Ortiz can get Hooker on the ropes, because Ortiz is a pressure fighter, likes to come forward, throws lots of combinations. I remember his fight with uh, that Samuel Vargas. And uh, through that fight, he was blasting Vargas with a lot of punches. The the ref stopped the fight in the end, Jack Reese even though Ortiz didn't knock him down and, and like knock him out, uh, he was getting punished badly. Uh, Jack Reese stopped the fight. But um, if Ortiz can put Maurice Hooker on the ropes, like Jose Ramirez did, and he traps him on the ropes, then I think it's good night for him, uh, for Maurice Hooker. The thing, the thing with... With uh, Vargas, uh, not Vargas, Ortiz, though, what I have seen of him, he does throw some wild punches, like wild lefts and rights hooks, because he's always looking for the power shot. So he could be he could be leaving himself open for a counter punch. And let's not get it twisted. Hooker ain't feather fisted. He's got 18 knockouts out of 27 fights, out of 27 wins, sorry. So the the boy can it, but I just don't think. I don't know. It's age versus youth, but then it's experience against a, an up and coming fighter. I just, me personally, I I just think I think uh, Virgil Ortiz is going to do a serious number on Murray Soccer. Um, am I being a little bit biased? Maybe so, because of the time when uh, Marie Sucker was supposed to fight Regis Progre. 
and he kept dicking around with different weights saying I'll fight you 140 then 145 I think is a cat's weight then he said 147 so I suppose I'm being a little bit biased I'm not writing Murray Sucker off but I just don't think he's got anything you know he's a good fighter there's no taking away from him that he's a good fighter but I just don't think he's got anything anything in his toolbox what's going to stop Virgil Ortiz I can say I, I think Ortiz will stop him very early round about round 4 or 5 That that's my prediction he very well could not and he, he might end up getting knocked out himself but I just think Ortiz will be too much for him he's a pressure fighter throws fast combinations and I can just see him trapping Marie Sucker on the ropes and, and knocking him out but, uh, like I say, just quickly to wrap it up, this is a good fight. It's on the zone. I'll be watching it. Um, like I say, I've got the zone on my TV, so it's no problem for me to watch it. Any UK uh, subs what hear this, uh, make sure you watch it because the zone's dirt cheap over here at the moment. It's only £2. A month so I'm not trying to do a promotion for DAZN just saying it's, it's well worth getting it even if you just get it for this fight but yeah to wrap it up um, I just see I see Oka getting stopped and I see him getting stopped bad but let me know what you think in the comment sections and uh, I look forward to your input and I look forward to seeing the fight and I hope you enjoy it and peace out I'll catch you on the next one peace